ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conrad Koch and Chester Mercedes. Thank you for coming out, everybody. It's so great to have you. I, I really appreciate it. It has been such, uh, it's been insane. Sorry, I just got, I just got vaccinated. It's, uh, <laughs> and I'm experiencing some side effects. <laughs> yeah, it was the Pfizer jab. I didn't know they also make Viagra. I didn't know that. <laughs> so if you get the Pfizer jab, make sure you get the right one. <laughs> What, what is your name, bro? Temba, nice to meet you, Temba. I love how you came dressed with your beach chair top. It's wonderful. It's, <laughs> it's very stripy. This is my uncle here that I know who taught me scuba diving. Ian, hello, Ian there. The Father Christmas of the room. He has a family here. Hello, hello, sir. What is your name? Nice to meet you, Wayne. I was in lockdown with my wife and we laugh. Well, and normally when I say that, people clap for me. Tell that Bert, because I play with puppets. So being married is an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> so getting straight to that, I'd like to uh, welcome my first friend that you all know, Chester Missing from TV. Uh, you know, I keep my friends in a suitcase. <laughs> I feel like I'm a Gupta. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> please welcome. <laughs> My good friend, Mr. Chester Massey! It's so great that the art is great, because you know, that. did you see they stole an entire macro, tender, the whole macro was gone. You know when they go, everything must go. <laughs> This time, it was literal. Macro <laughs> is going to have to change his name to take a lot. <laughs> One guy stole a TV while he was on TV. <laughs> Did you see that guy? On TV, he's going to get hold and see himself committing the crime. On the crime, he committed. <laughs> One guy looted cake with his face. Did you see that? With his face, he just, ah, in his face, ah, he just shoved his face into the cake. Ah, it was a WhatsApp, ah, you know, like when they went, let them eat cake. He was like, foot sack. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been in lockdown. I don't know, I was in lockdown. This is a virus. Yeah, dude, I'm made out of the latex. I'm literally a PPE. <laughs> It's not easy, Tender, because when my workday starts, my colleague sticks his hand in my ass. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in politics. <laughs> it's fine. I've uh, I've been vaccinated. What? You, I've been vaccinated. I know. I can feel the 5G microchip <laughs> buzzing in my head. <laughs> Bill Gates is sending me messages. <laughs> What's he saying? Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to be here. We've been touring. Yo, you were in Kadeha, weren't you? Kadeha. PE's new name, Kadeha. That's a cool day. Yes, because now racists can't go to Port Elizabeth, can they? It's fantastic. Hello, I want to go to Port Elizabeth. What do you need the names changed? Don't start that rubbish now. PE. Carrera. Carrera. Durden, send me to Durden. <laughs> and we've been doing all our shows on Zoom. Yes, I've been doing Zoomer jokes on Zoom. <laughs> And everyone knows the difference between Zoom and Zoomer is Zoom steals all your data. Zoomer steals everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom shows are terrible. Oh, it's fantastic. If you, want to, if you want to have fun in a Zoom meeting, okay, what you do is you turn off your microphone, turn off your camera, take your computer to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and when the meeting starts, have a cock. <laughs> 
When your boss is like, hello everyone, you're like, <laughs> Did you get the download? I'm downloading right now. Focus on the results, I don't want to. <laughs> If you're not laughing at this joke, it's because you are unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> and now we get to go out. Well, that's stressful too, isn't it? Because I say, no nice, no entry. No nice, no entry. No nice, no entry. And the moment you get inside, know that he's wearing a mask. <laughs> it's like wearing a condom all day and then taking it off when you... <laughs> When you what? <laughs> then they take your temperature. Has any of they actually worked taking your temperature? Has anyone here ever found out they got COVID at the Nugandi? No. <laughs> I heard that Ocean Basket lets you in if you've got COVID. Yeah, they think you'll enjoy their food more with no sense of taste. <laughs> you know, it's true. <laughs> And then, and then you've got to greet with your elbow. Oh, yeah, Ramaphosa. President Ramaphosa said, greet with your elder. Use your elder. Use your elder. And then you've got to sneeze into your... <laughs> and then use that elder. <laughs> like rubbing COVID on. Like elbow to elbow COVID transmission. <laughs> and now he talks to us every week, Ramaphosa. Yeah, he's got his own TV show, doesn't he? Hey, it's not Netflix, it's Netsurl. <laughs> My favorite episode is in his mask attacked in. Do you remember that? <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't see anything. It was like one man load shedding. It was like the DA talking about race. I can it was like seeing a throatiest cricket player catch a ball. <laughs> And then, and then, and then uh, he lets us drink if our COVID numbers stay low. And if our COVID numbers go up, he takes our alcohol away, doesn't he? Yeah, he's running the entire country on the dot system. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. And the only reason any of us survived was uh, edibles. <laughs> 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 They don't know what edibles, you know what edibles are? You know what, you know what edibles are? Edibles, they're putting dacha in food now. Well, in Dacha's going in food, but the thing about Dacha, you may not know, is it makes you want food. <laughs> so now it's inside the thing that it makes you want. It's insane. It's like putting Viagra inside a... <laughs> <laughs> a what? A... <laughs> and then you eat the Dacha and then you get high, but the only food you have has Dacha in it. So you eat that, <laughs> then you get higher, so you eat that. 20 years later, you wake up working as a waiter in Cork Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now, oh my goodness. Now they got CBD. Have you heard about CBD? CBD oil. They, they took the Dacha out the Dacha. <laughs> And they are the same sick bastards and they non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> no, it's liquor. CBD is like, it's not, it just relaxes you and you put it in coffee. Yes, that makes no sense. What coffee wakes you up, CBD relaxes you. It's like driving with the brakes on. <laughs> it's like taking Viagra and then watching the Discovery Channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a whale. <laughs> It's a blue whale. <laughs> it's a sperm whale. <laughs> it's a humpback whale. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's gross. Uh, we were in Canada when they legalized weed. We were literally there. There's legal there. Like legal, legal. Finally, the Canadian flag makes sense. That's true. <laughs> Like, they got ads to say don't drive on weed like they do for alcohol. Can you imagine an ad saying don't drive on Dacha? Can you imagine? Do you feel like you've been driving for hours and hours? <laughs> but actually, you're still in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> All the cops do weird tests to see whether you hide. What are they? They throw Doritos on the floor. <laughs> yeah, if you eat the Doritos, you go to jail. <laughs> 
And my worst thinking is, I can't smile. That's my issue. I can't smile. All that happens when I smile is this. <laughs> that is the face the queen makes. You say the words, Meghan Markle. <laughs> Did you see that interview? Did you guys see the interview on Oprah with Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry? I know, did you, did you see that series, The Crown? The Queen's like, eh, hello, eh. That's how the Queen talks, eh, hello, eh, 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 eh. Because she's got all Africa's gold in her nose, eh. <laughs> in the Oprah interview, Apparently, the queen asked the weird question. She said, Harry, 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 what color will it be? <laughs> the poor little child, uh, you know, Meghan Markle and Harry said, yes, how on, why don't you ask that stupid question? Why don't you ask a more important question? What, why would you call the son of the red-haired dude Archie? <laughs> <laughs> if he comes to Africa, we'll just call him Nazi. <laughs> Well, they said the royal family's racist. Of course they're racist. Have you seen the crown? It's literally got Africa and India's jewels in it. Like it's take a genocide to work day. <laughs> the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth. How do you steal a country and call it the Commonwealth? That's like mugging someone and then going, sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> My God, things have gone crazy for us. Hey, load shedding is that? Hey, load, the only time ESCOM makes you feel good is when they cancel load shedding that's meant to happen, huh? It's like a Kurt Darren CD, but it only feels good when you turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jacob Zuma, did he go to jail? He did for about five seconds. He was in jail. Well, he's sick. How's he sick? This is the same dude who defeated HIV with a shower. <laughs> 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 Even I'm, even I'm captured. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not I am. I am captured. Do you guys know who Malusi Gigada is? He's an ex-cabinet minister. Yes, he's like a Thadiani with legs. <laughs> he's like the Gupta's chest on this thing. What, imagine I'm Malusi and he's a Gupta. <laughs> <laughs> Malusi Gigada gave me ties for Christmas a few years ago. This is not a joke. He really gave Chester ties for Christmas because we were on TV together. I know. So if you ask me, Chester, do you have any Gupta ties? The answer's yes. <laughs> huh? Show them, show them. This is gonna blow your mind. Just check this out. Show, show them, show them. This is the whitest dude you've ever seen in your life. No, no, just, they wanna see. No, do you wanna see? No. No, it's, no, no, it's crazy. Put your sunglasses on. <laughs> Cause this cock is incredible. Okay. Show them. Holy cow! <laughs> and if you like sells that as a color, do you know what they're gonna call it? No, what? Air. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it comes with its own country club membership. <laughs> well, leave me alone. Where's the hair? What? No, never mind. <laughs> well, where's the hair? No, I can't look at all, but there's an audience. It's cork. They, they don't have internet. It's fine. <laughs> Now look at it. I got laser hair removal. <laughs> there are starving kids down the road <laughs> in the <Thishuk. laughs> And you got laser hair removal. Laser hair removal. Does it go all the way? No. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, does it go all the way? I'm not answering. No, it doesn't. Holy cock, what? <laughs> So up here, you're like a dolphin. <laughs> Down there, Wolverine. <laughs> you're like one of those scrubbing brushes. It's rough on the one side and smooth on the other. <laughs> you gotta go, no, help, guys! And she doam, and she doam, and she doam, and she I've been doing ventriloquism a very long time, and when I started out, uh, you couldn't really buy puppets, because I went to the, the College of Magic in Cape Town, and it was a long time ago, so I had to make my own puppets. And this is the first puppet I ever created. I took um, two feather dusters, and an old coat hanger, 
and a old sock. Now, I don't know if any of you have got one of those friends who, you know, they come over uninvited. You know that kind of friend who just arrives on Sunday morning. Hi, I'm here. How you guys doing? I'd like some scones. That friend, you know that friend. That is this friend to me. He insisted on being in the show tonight. I said no, but he absolutely wouldn't uh, change his mind. This is an actual slipper that I wrote standard eight maths things in. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my good friend. His name is Hilton. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Now look at this audience. Hello, my darlings. You're so sexy. <gasps> Who is he? That's Timber. Ooh, Timber. <laughs> oh. And who is that? That is my friend Ian. Ian! Ah, because it's just one of them. It's an Afrikaans joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my darlings. You're going to have a fantastic night. It's going to be a jaw. It's going to be a party. A jaw. A party. A jaw. A party. A jaw, a parte. What is the difference between a parte and a jaw? A parte involves Chardonnay. A, a jaw involves boxed wine. <laughs> <laughs> and by the looks of who is here tonight, this is a jaw. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with boxed wine other than the fact that it makes you kiss your cousin in the garage. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's literally called Four Cousins. <laughs> the warning is on the label. <laughs> what did you do during lockdown? Oh, I gave the relationship advice on the internet. Oh, that's cool. Yes, you're the on Facebook going, my husband is such a catch. And I'd be there, yes, because he looks like a fish. <laughs> No, he's my soul mate. Yes, that's also a type of fish. <laughs> There's a lot of couples here tonight. Do you have any advice? Yes, darlings. And then always apologize. Always apologize. Even if she drives over you with your car, <laughs> apologize. That's why every marriage starts with getting on one knee. <laughs> it's rehearsal for apologizing. <laughs> He has to apologize all the time. I do, I'm a, I'm a bit messy. He's not a bit messy, he's a total pig. If there's any more of a pig, he'd be on the menu at Simply Asia. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one good thing about lockdown, wasn't it? Well, it was illegal for your in-laws to visit you. <laughs> I used to sit there every Sunday praying, Cyril, make them stay away. <laughs> Make them stay away. Because there's always that one auntie who comes over and asks you awkward questions. Oh, we all have that relative. You know, when are you getting married? When are you having babies? And we need to fight back. What must we do? Auntie, when are you getting plastic surgery? <laughs> no, and then she'll go, how dare you? And then you go, because your nose is not where it belongs. <laughs> But it's just great to be out because we can see each other. We can see other couples. That's right. You can go sit in public and see other couples fighting. Isn't it delightful? You can just sit there and judge. <laughs> and then you listen to their fight. And then your husband will go, well, you know, he's got a point. And then you can start your own fight. <laughs> about whatever they were fighting about. <laughs> And they've got a dog. We do our dog. A little dog is very sweet. He's blind and deaf. Yes, so he's very entertaining because he only changes direction when he hits an edge. <laughs> what was that? The cat. We, we don't own a cat. He doesn't know that. <laughs> because the one thing about lockdown, the one thing about lockdown is it showed us that your partner's little quirks are all red flags. <laughs> Fun-loving alcoholic. <laughs> Great sense of humor, bloody annoying. <laughs> Cyclist, psychopath who won't stay in his lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Nothing wrong with cyclists. No, darling. They wear standex over their testicles and then walk around coffee shops in front of toddlers on Saturday mornings. <laughs> That's true. They should be on a list. Cyclists not allowed near schools. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic walking. A walking school? No, it's ridiculous. They look like they have tummy issues and it's a sport. <laughs> walk, just walk. Okay? There's you walking. That's how you walk. Now walk now you need like you need to poo. <laughs> <laughs> That's an Olympic sport. <laughs> I think they give them all two plates of bad curry and tell them there's one toilet. <laughs> Only one of you gets to go. <laughs> and the winner gets an enodium. <laughs> but it's great because we all get to see our friends again. Well, is it great? Because we all have that friend that we love that we also hate, don't we? Hey, we all have that one friend. Blink if you're sitting with that friend. <laughs> right now. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm blinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's had a hard time? You know who's had a hard time? Who? Parents. Parents in the house, let me hear you. You see, they're exhausted. Because <laughs> you're in lockdown with teenagers, my. Goodness. And you realize that the only way to punish your kids is the opposite of what happened when you were a kid. You can't go your ground and go to your room. That's where the internet is. That's where their friends are. <laughs> now, what do they have to do now? You're grounded. Now go play outside. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's the only place in the house that doesn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> There's a lot of single people here tonight, I'm sure. What advice do you have for them to meet new people? Oh, it's easy. Single people, here's what you do. You gotta send dirty pictures of yourself on the internet. <laughs> That's terrible, I do it all the time. What, on Instagram? Yes, and on Facebook, and on, on WhatsApp. I send pictures of my private parts. <laughs> Tender. <laughs> Send picture of privacy. Yes. That's disgusting. No, it's your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do you want to see my funny bone? <laughs> <laughs> would you, darlings, would you like to see what I look like naked? No, 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 no. Would you like to see? No. Oh. Uh, look at his left arm. What? That's how I look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just laughed my face off. <laughs> you gotta go, no, oh, no, wait, oh, darling, hang on, wait a sec, oh, oh, that's nice, oh, 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 I'm still here, you gotta, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Dixon! Okay, all right, here we go, eh? Here we go. Hello, class! No, 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 you gotta go. Hello, Mr. Dixon. Hello, class! That is how you teach kids to think for themselves. <laughs> Because there's always a stupid kid in every class, isn't there? Always a stupid kid. I don't know about that. Yeah, you, if you don't know who the stupid kid is, then it's you. <laughs> but you, uh, you teach Afrikaans. Yes, yes, I have been teaching Afrikaans in Rondelosh for 43 years. And I still haven't realized I don't actually speak Afrikaans. <laughs> Because it's Rondebosch. <laughs> in Rondebosch, an Afrikaans sentence is ik het en gaat. <laughs> if you go ik het Afrikaans ga study, that's an Afrikaans sentence in Rondebosch. <laughs> and cork day, apparently. <laughs> what is your favorite Afrikaans word? Oh, that's easy. 
Kakalak. Kakalak, kakalak. It's a great word, isn't it? Kakalak. Hey, who's that young man? That's Wayne. Wayne, hey, kakalak. Hey, it means cockroach. Cockroach, yeah, cockroach. So it sounds like you got lucky on the toilet, doesn't it? Hey, what happened in there? No, I got kakalaki. <laughs> But teachers are essential workers. Yeah, I know. I told the kids I'm an essential worker. They said, yes, sir, but so are grave diggers. <laughs> I said, well, don't make me combine the two occupations. <laughs> it's a short jump from undertaker to under they sir. <laughs> I had to teach these kids mondalunga. Oh, mondalunga were hard when you were a school kid. Hey, mondalunga. Remember mondalunga? Yes, it's an oral. No, no, it doesn't translate. What well, doesn't translate at all. There's no, there's no mondling section of adult world. <laughs> no, no boyfriend and girlfriend have ever got home and said, honey, let's mondling. <laughs> the stupidest kid I ever taught in my life, his name was Lionel Richardson. This guy was a total idiot because I he cheated in his exams by copying his thread and I knew because here it says name at the top he wrote Lucy Shabalala <laughs> oh, that's what that part of the room got the joke <laughs> that you guys didn't have a clue <laughs> not a clue Ian you staring at me like you just arrived <laughs> Okay, you guys just chat amongst yourselves. Listen, guys. <laughs> the exams, who's that? That's Bert. Bert, the exams are coming soon. There's no room for this. You're not even taking notes, Bert. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> I'm not joking. Get out your phone. <laughs> Do you understand? His name is Lionel Richardson. And then he wrote, Vusi Shabalala. <laughs> Now, I see Ian's wondering, is that his nickname? No, no. <laughs> he wrote Lionel, he's meant to be right, Ly oh, it's, <laughs> it's like you guys are comedy higher grade and they're comedy lit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Lucy Shadalala. <laughs> but his name is Lionel Richardson. <laughs> Are you from Fishhook? Because <laughs> I'm sorry that it shows. His, na his name isn't Lucy Shabalala. I mean, Wayne understands the joke. And he doesn't look that clear then. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to stay back after the show. Okay. I'm sorry, Ian, but that's how it's going to be tonight. Because I can't, the exams are almost here tender. There's no room for this. <laughs> but teaching must have changed. Of course it's changed. My goodness, it's changed. Now all the kids are woke. Oh, they're woke. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they don't look woke. They look like they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does that mean? Well, even the alphabet is woke now. The alphabet, yes. It used to be A, B, C, D. Now it's L, G, B, T, Q, plus. <laughs> I, I didn't know what it meant. I thought it was a type of TV. <laughs> that's my LG, that's my LGBTQ+. <laughs> Does it come with ADHD? I don't know. <laughs> then they said, no, sir, you cancelled. I said, you can't cancel me. I'm the teacher. You've got detention. Well, that's a, you know, well, you just make kids sit around doing nothing. Yes, it's a, apparently it's job training. I didn't know. What's a job training for? Home affairs. <laughs> <laughs> but some things must have changed in teaching that are, are hard. Oh, yes, because the kids only had one drug when I was a kid. It was dachar, and then the dachar was the drug. Then, now, then they got tuk. Yeah, now they got tuk tuk. It's very dangerous. Oh, wait. Uh, tok tok, tok tok. Tokity tick. What's a tick tock? Tok. What's it? Are you on it? <laughs> it's very dangerous. 
Well, what does it do? It makes you do weird things in the playground. <laughs> weird dances? No, in TikTok, that's called a challenge. What? That's called a TikTok challenge. Yes, they look like they are challenged. They just... <laughs> no, Mr. Dixon, it's an app you can get on your phone. No, I can't. I don't have Wi-Fi on my phone. You don't? No, no. I don't, I, they said, Mr. Dixon, do you want Wi-Fi? I said, no, I'm already married. <laughs> How, how is your wife? I have no idea. I haven't seen her in days. <laughs> oh, she on holiday? No, she went to Diskin. Because <laughs> <laughs> Diskin is huge. Trata van ver gelijking for huge is groot, groter Diskin. Trata van ver gelijking got you as again. I know. Hey, dit, ditter, ditster. <laughs> Hey, fair, 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 yeah. Don, don, or Steve Hoffman. <laughs> Donker, donker, der Eskom. <laughs> Nothing is darker than Eskom. <laughs> you know, you've been coaching rugby for a long time. You coach me in rugby? Yes, no, I coach. I know nothing about rugby, though. I know nothing about rugby, but I still <laughs> coach it. How do you get away with it? No, you've got to know how to fake it. This is how you think, knowing rugby, okay? Listen closely, okay, Wayne, listen. What do you say? You say, at the end of the day, you gotta say it exactly like that. At the end of the day, you can't say at the end of the day. It must be, at the end of the day, <laughs> the back line needs work. <laughs> and what does that mean? I've got no idea. <laughs> but it's always true. At the end of the day, but that line needs work. <laughs> and if the kid who wouldn't play rugby, then we punish them. How do you punish them? Oh, the word is hockey. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you remember hockey? Hockey and I, but you give all the kids sticks and make them moot each other. <laughs> it's not a sport, it's gang violence. <laughs> well, we, we're gonna run out of time. I know, I know, and it's very dangerous where the world is right now. You saw what happened in Kruger's Dorp, didn't you? You saw, didn't you see? Oh, goodness, Kruger's Dorp. Hey, all the Satanists in South Africa live in Kruger's Dorp. It was on Showmax, all the, it was a, a series on Showmax. All the Satanists live in Kruger's Dorp. They're all going to hell. No, that's the joke. What, they're already there. They live in Kruger's Dorp. <laughs> Because, no, guys, it's not easy getting older, okay? It's not easy, because there comes a point in your life <laughs> where you look in the mirror and you realise that your face now looks like how your testicles have always looked. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can see a lot of testicles in this room tonight. <laughs> you, know, you look in the mirror and you're like, <laughs> It's everywhere. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of, uh, lot of South Africans in this room who've had a tough time. You got any advice for us? Yes, parents, I know you've had a rough time. So I've got some advice. Parents of teenagers, if you want to get your kids to do the dishes, there's only one way to make them do it. What? Because kids hate it when you talk about sex. That's their biggest, they hate it. So what you've got to do is when you're watching a movie, wait until a sex scene comes on. <laughs> but it's got to be like the dirtiest part of the sex scene. And then you turn to your kids and you say, you see this thought here? Your mother and I love doing this. <laughs> they will be in that kitchen. <laughs> faster than a Mari biscuit melts in coffee. And if you've ever knelt in a Nari biscuit in coffee, you know that they have the structural integrity of the bridge built by an Eastern Cape tender. <laughs> First sign of the water and they're gone. <laughs> Final, but listen closely. At the end of the day, <laughs> the back line needs work. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay. Now, I need to just test you because the exams are almost here. So I'm going to tell you one last joke. Let's see how you do. Okay? Are you ready? Listen closely. <laughs> okay, are you listening? Yeah. Okay, a guy goes into a bank. Okay, a bank with a glue gun. Right? A glue gun. Yeah, okay. And he, he puts a glue gun in the air and he says, put your hands in the air. This is a stick-up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. None of you got the joke. It's, do you understand, Tender? It's, do you understand what's going on? Do you know what a man is? Do you know what a man is, Tender? Look at Wayne. That's a, that's a man, okay? Now, he goes into a bank. Ian, do you know what a bank is? Now, I know you're thinking, is it like a blood bank? Wayne is wondering, is it a stern bank? It's not part of the joke. It doesn't matter what, it's a, it's a money bank, okay? It's a money bank. Now this man goes into, Ian, listen closely, okay? Listen, he goes into the bank with a glue gun. Are we all clear? It's not a normal gun, Ian. It's a glue gun. Now I know Wayne is wondering, is it Bostic? It's not part of the joke. It's not, it's not all, it doesn't matter what type of glue, okay? Ian, listen then, the exams are almost here. So I'm gonna tell it again and let's see, guys, because we can't stay here after the show, okay? So here we go. A, a guy goes into a bank with a glue gun, puts it in the air and says, put your hands in the air, this is a stick-up. Oh, <laughs> You're all the stupid kids. You're going to have to state that after the show. It's not good enough. Sorry, miss. It's not good enough. I'm sorry, miss. I have a lot of social media followers. Chester Missing has a lot of social media followers. And in what he does, we get a lot of internet trolls. Some of you have met them yourself on the internet. And I have one here tonight. I thought, wouldn't it be great if we met an actual internet troll? Wouldn't that be an amazing experience? I have one here. I want you to welcome him with that warm Cape Town Cork Bay welcome. Please welcome my friend, Ronnie! Oh, yeah! It's gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great show, or it's gonna be crap. Either way, we've got your money. That's true. <laughs> Ronnie, yeah, you seem very wide. I know, I know. I stuck my finger in a plug. Okay. <laughs> what happened? I got turned on. <laughs> How did it end? Load shedding. <laughs> Crack on, yeah. Ronnie, you know, you know what we need, you know what we need. We need South African versions of Netflix shows. That's a great idea. Yeah! Uh, how to get away with murder. Oh no, this is South Africa. That is called the news. <laughs> <laughs> Blacklist. Names the DA cannot say. <laughs> Money heist. The ANC. <laughs> Ronnie, I told you to get therapy. I did. I went for healing. Oh, healing. Yeah. What happened? She waved her hands over me and said, you're healed. <laughs> So I waved my money at her and said, you're paid. <laughs> so she said, I'm taking back my energy. So I said, I'm taking back my money. <laughs> she said, you didn't pay me anything. I said, exactly. Have <laughs> well, you got any advice for us as an internet troll? Well, next time you get an insurance call, an insurance phone call, this is what you do. Hi there, we'd like to sell you insurance. Are you covered? And then you go. I want you to cover me with your insurance. Cover me with your insurance heart. I want your insurance me harder, deep inside of me. I want to feel your death and orders deep inside of me. Death and orders me harder. Death and orders me. I want to feel your death and orders every 15th. I want to feel. They will never phone you back again. <laughs> Listen, I told you, I told you that you need to get an actual job. I got a job. You do? Yeah. 
Doing what? Absolutely nothing. What's that called? Content creator. <laughs> <laughs> in content creators. We're on the internet. Have you seen us doing unboxings today? I'm doing an unboxing. Yeah, I have a box. I'm going to take the things out the box. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see me taking more things out of boxes. Thank you. <laughs> because before the internet, evil bloodsuckers are called vampires. What are evil bloodsuckers called now? Social influencers. <laughs> Well, these people here are all on the internet, have you got any... Have you got any internet advice for us? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to get out of the Zoom meeting. You want to get out of the Zoom meeting. Learn ventriloquism. And then stand up in the middle of the meeting and go, Thank you for inviting me to your Zoom meeting. Unfortunately, my internet connection is unstable. So I might lose visual and or audio. If I do... Uh, 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 That was Ronnie, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! Keeping that warm, lovey love going, please welcome back my friend, Jester Bassey! Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, there it, there it is, there it is. It's been crazy guys, thank you for coming out, eh? Ramaposa, that's a... Ramaposa, the show is called Rama Puppet. Rama, you know why he's called Ramaposa? No, because he's like Nolno Rama, just much richer. <laughs> Ramaposa. You got any you got any advice for President Ramaposa? Yeah, his neckline needs work. <laughs> You know the most amazing news story of the last year? And I say that one. No, no, no. The Taliban are angry. The actual Taliban are more angry than they usually are. Because the young members of the Taliban, I don't know what's the young Taliban? I don't know what they call The Talibanis? The Taliban ones? <laughs> the Taliban dons? I don't know. The Taliban Youth League. The Tele Talibans. <laughs> What about that? Well, they are taking too many selfies. So it was in the news. It was actually in the news. Yeah, they're in the news. Isn't that awesome? Even the tele talibans are as shallow as we are. Even they are going, death to America, the thirst. Selfies. <laughs> Hashtag sunset. <laughs> Hashtag bazooka. <laughs> Hashtag more. <laughs> I don't know what the Taliban hashtags are. <laughs> Neither do I. No. Are you going to have kids? Uh, well, I, I don't know. Because you can't be sure, hey, can you? Eh? You just never know. You never know. Your kid could be great, but he could be a total a-hole. What do you mean? You could be a total... You might be sitting there in a few years' time just crying. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. What's wrong? Johnny's lost his way. What, is he a murderer? No, it's worse. It's worse. Oh, it's worse than a murderer. He's an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> an anti-vaxxer here. Dude, they're anti-vaxxers. They're not getting the frickin' jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's true. That, but come on, there are people who don't know what's in the vaccine. Yes, really. You don't know what's in anything. Anything. What's in Aramat? <laughs> you don't know. There's no way it's that delicious and it's still good for you. <laughs> KFC, the colonel said he's got 11 herbs and spices. Secret ones. What are they? You've never asked. <laughs> Exactly. And now that anti vaxxers are going on marches. Oh, they went to the march at the Seapoint Promenade. Yes, if you're marching at the Seapoint Promenade, it's not a march. It's a thunder run. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some of the anti vaxxers because I look a bit like a baby, don't I? A really ugly baby. Yes, you do. So he puts me in a blanket and in a tram, and then we go to the promenade, and I lie there. <laughs> And, and the first rule of ugly daddies is you can never say that daddies ugly, can you? You can never go, oh my gosh, did you throw away the daddy and keep the umbilical cord? <laughs> you can't go, holy crap, that's a hemorrhoid with eyes. <laughs> you can't be like, oh my gosh, it looks like Donald Trump. <laughs> No, you can't. So I wait there till the anti vax aunties come and they go, Hello, little baby. Hello, baby. Oh, is, he, is he okay? <laughs> and I just lie there and they go, is he, is he okay? And then I go, Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. What's, what's wrong, little
little tiny. This is what happens if you don't vaccinate your fucking kids. <laughs> And then they make the face of the queen. Because <laughs> it hasn't been easy. No, has anyone here gone for a COVID test? Have you guys gone for COVID test? It's insane. They shove that, that thing so far in your nose. It's like they're trying to echo you with an ear dot. <laughs> no wonder you lose your sense of smell. They just stuck half the clicks in there. <laughs> And then we got the South African variant. The South African variant. Why was it South African? I don't know. Did the cola join forces with the listeriosis? I don't know. Did someone drink a Corona while they're eating a Thelonia? I don't know. <laughs> and we had to get the AstraZeneca vaccine. You had to store it at minus 70. Minus 70. Where's minus 70 in South Africa? I don't know. Inside Woolworths. That's where. <laughs> Not even in a fridge, just in woods. <laughs> you could end load shedding if you turn off the aircon in woods. <laughs> That's why they give you a cloth bag. Like halfway through, you're gonna need to make yourself a jersey. <laughs> uh, and everyone was stressed in the shops. Yes, even the talus freaking out is going. Dit, dit, dit. <laughs> Then the thing doesn't scan, so she has to start calling her manager, but like she's summoning a demon from hell. Natalie! <laughs> Natalie! <laughs> Natalie! <laughs> and then nine hours later, Natalie would come over <laughs> with that white card only to contain managers have. <laughs> you know that white card that gives you the confidence of the CEO in a six meter radius? <laughs> It's like a magic card from Lord of the Rings. One, one card to rule the law. And the card goes, boop. What, that's the sound it makes. It goes, boop. Because if she has that card, you will boop yourself. <laughs> and then the teller asks you the stupidest question you can hear all week. What's that? Are you going to use your smart shot at points? <laughs> And you're like, no, I'm saving up for something awesome, like a Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Overseas is even worse. They've got self-checkout. Oh, self-checkout. It'll never work here. No, we have self-checkout. No, we don't. No, it's called looting. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to work out the payment system. <laughs> I, I can't do that stuff. No, no, this guy can't do self-checkout. He's an idiot. And in the States, they've got like an auntie there, a lady who's got a PhD in condescension, because I know there's going to be an idiot South African. So she's like, sir, point the barcode at the scanner. Point the barcode at the scanner. You know when it gets awkward, like when you phone your granny on a video call, and she answers with her ear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, granny, how are you? Hello, darling, are you there? Granny, it's a video call. Are you there, darling? I can't hear you. <laughs> Granny, it's a video. I can't hear you, darling. Granny, I can see your ear. What are you here? <laughs> <laughs> that is how awkward it's getting. And the, the, the lady is going, sir, point the barcode at the scanner. The barcode is a part that looks like a zedra. And that's when I got angry, guys, because it's not a zedra, is it? It's a zedra. <laughs> and this lady's name was Dedra. <laughs> So I stuck my head up and said, ah, 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 If you're gonna call it Zidra, I'm gonna call you Deidre. <laughs> yeah, so we, I mean, we, we were meant to travel the world and now we had to, we we're stuck in South Africa, of course, which we love, but also, you know, we were meant to go to Australia. Guys, if you go to Australia, don't take nuts. Don't take, they freak out. Like, they really freak out. You can get nuts into Australia if you hide it in heroin. That's how much. <laughs> I'm not even joking now. You got any nuts? No, just heroin. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> when so that was even worse. The lady, see, you got anything dangerous in the suitcase? And I stick my head up. Yes, Chucky's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they always freak out because they think I'm Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> 
in Los Angeles, the lady goes, yes, sir, you can't travel with a person in a suitcase. I'm not a person. I'm made out of plastic. She said, this is Los Angeles. Everyone's made out of plastic. <laughs> So I said, no, you don't understand. I literally had the dude's hand in my ass. <laughs> she said, yes, sir, we have those here. <laughs> they are called actors. <laughs> in London, that's where I got him back. Don't talk about London. No, it wasn't okay. It wasn't okay. He kept me in that suitcase for weeks. Well, I had to. And then we get to London and I got him back because the guy was, sir, is there anything dangerous in the suitcase? So I made that one sound that airport security love, bruh. I went, tick, 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 And then I re realized I'm London, so I've got to make an accent. Tick, air, tick, air, 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 air. So the guy said, sir, you need to open the bag. And this idiot forgot that I'm a puppet, so I can talk without moving my mouth. So I was like, tick, air, tick, air. It wasn't funny. No, they took you away to the little room. They took me away to the little room. About the size of that suitcase. Exactly. And then what did they do? They searched me. No. They cavity searched him. <laughs> they stuck their hand. Okay, bro. That, my friend, is called karma. <laughs> and as that hand, as that hand went into his ass, do you know what sound he made? <laughs> He went, eh. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. You've been absolutely. No, no, no. I... Sorry, just left. Sorry. Just... No. Sorry, boss. Mr. Dixon, what is it? No, I'm sorry. It's not okay. What? what? I just didn't get the jokes. <laughs> Mr. Dixon, the show is a... No, they've got to stay behind. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. But the, the exams are here now. Okay, Mr. I'm sorry. Can you just... We just have to get through this with Mr. Dixon. I'm sorry about this. You know the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dixon. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but, you know, really, okay, really, the exams are here now, and so, you know, some of you have been great. But some of you haven't understood a thing we've said here tonight. Some of you are still waiting for the show to start. <laughs> and it's just not okay. Some of you are not even getting this joke without not getting the jokes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, Tender, that when he came out and he stuck his arm in the air, <laughs> and he went, oh, I just got vaccinated. Some of you had no idea. He had not a clue. Yeah, okay. It was a Viagra joke, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard, it's Viagra. <laughs> I mean, really, really. <laughs> but to be honest, if that's the part that's going up, you've got bigger issues. <laughs> I mean, you might only get the joke in as you're driving home. <laughs> you know, Wayne, you might get it next week and that's okay. <laughs> It's a sticker, I get it. <laughs> and I'm here to say that is okay. Because no matter who you are, tonight you're going to look at your loved one and you're going to say, Honey, are you here today? <laughs> the back line needs work. <laughs> And you're going to laugh and laugh and laugh and neither of you will know why. <laughs> you guys have been delightful. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you. 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 Thank you.